Russia just hit Google with a fine that's beyond imagination. So big it practically breaks math. We're talking two undecillion rubles. That's a two followed by 36 zeros, or a number bigger than all the money on Earth combined. And in US dollars, it's an impossible 20 quadrillion dollars. Even though Google is one of the richest companies on the planet, worth around $2 trillion, that's not even a scratch on what Russia is demanding. This isn't just a fine. It's a massive power move in an ongoing tech and media war between Russia and one of the world's most powerful companies. Why such an insane amount? According to Russian sources, this fine is the result of Google's refusal to unblock Russian state media channels on YouTube, a conflict that started back in 2020. It began small, with Russian media outlets like Sargrad and RIA fan filing lawsuits against Google for blocking their channels. But then things spiraled. Every time Google refused to comply, the fines doubled and kept doubling, growing from daily penalties of 100,000 rubles to an astronomical, otherworldly number. The situation hit a boiling point in 2022. That's when Google, following Western sanctions after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, blocked several state-run Russian media channels, including RT and Sputnik, which had been pushing pro-Kremlin content. Almost overnight, most Western companies exited Russia, refusing to operate under the Kremlin's restrictions. Russian media outlets were banned across Europe, and Moscow responded by escalating its retaliatory measures against Google which already had a long list of grievances with the Russian government. At first, Russian authorities were content to slap Google with smaller but still hefty penalties. In 2021, for instance, Russia's media regulator Roskomnadzor fined Google 21.1 billion rubles, around $301 million, for failing to restrict content Moscow considered illegal, particularly information about the war in Ukraine. But the penalties kept growing. By the summer of 2022, Google's local subsidiary had declared bankruptcy and shut down commercial services in Russia. Even then, Google products weren't completely banned in Russia, but the restrictions and fines kept piling up. Then came the hammer blow. By 2023, Google's fines had exploded into two undecillion rubles, an amount beyond reality. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov himself admitted he cannot even pronounce this number, but still insisted Google pay attention and fix things by restoring access to Russian state media channels. The Kremlin has labeled the fine as symbolic, a move filled with meaning beyond dollars and rubles. It's a dark statement, a show of force that Russia is willing to go to impossible lengths to punish those who defy its control over information. Behind all this is Russia's crackdown on press freedom independent media has virtually vanished, and Russian-controlled outlets like RT have been accused of spreading disinformation to defend Russia's actions in Ukraine. The US and European countries have called out Russian media for fueling propaganda, and social media platforms have taken steps to limit Russia's influence by banning channels and slowing upload speeds within Russia. In March 2022, YouTube alone removed more than 1,000 Russian channels and 15,000 videos in a single sweep, citing violations of content policies around well-documented violent events. Russia, in turn, accused Google of illegal protest activity and law violations for refusing to reinstate these channels. So, what does this all mean for Google? Right now, the tech giant has kept quiet, with no public statement on the fine. According to Google's latest earnings report, they're treating these compounding fines as just another legal issue in a long list, one that they claim won't have a material adverse effect on their business. But the stakes are higher than ever, and Moscow's demands keep piling up, threatening Google with more impossible penalties if it doesn't comply. As of August 2023, YouTube faced outages in Russia, with upload speeds plummeting by as much as 70% due to Moscow's influence. Russian lawmakers have hinted that more restrictions are coming, accusing YouTube of violating the law with impunity. The Kremlin's symbolic fine might be more than just an unpayable debt. It's a statement to Google, to the West, and to anyone challenging Russian media control. 
In the end, Google faces a question bigger than this monstrous fine. Will they stand their ground or cave to the mounting pressure? As the standoff intensifies, the world watches one of the darkest tech battles unfold, wondering just how far Russia is willing to go and how long Google can hold out. That's a wrap for today's topic. Consider subscribing the channel for more latest information. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, take care, goodbye.